Nintendo has confirmed today that in its new game, Tumadachi Life, however you pronounce that, they will not be adding same-sex marriage as requested by quite a few of their fans. They stated, quote, Nintendo never intended to make any form of social commentary with the la launch of Tamadachi Life. This is the same game that they removed same-sex marriage because it was, quote, a bug. I'm sorry, but you're removing same-sex marriage because it was a bug, and you refuse to add it back even though you're constantly asked for it. You are making a social commentary with that game. And that social commentary is, same sex is not right. Fuck you, Nintendo. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode six of Quest for Creative. Uh, yes, I kind of had to do that uh, because, I mean, I'm sorry, the comment was so incredibly stupid. Stupid from Nintendo, I had to comment on it. And I know at this point it'll be, what, two days late? Because it was announced on the 7th, and this is going to go up on the 9th, I think. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I had to say something because that was so incredibly stupid. On a lighter note, while I'm thinking of this, uh, Space Gator, you all remember Space, uh, he suggested that I should start the head placing ceremony again and that's basically when i did this for all of my subscribers and uh i've been watching my subscriber count for a little while now a couple weeks now and if you think about it i've only been recording for a, a week again and before that i wasn't recording for two months and the subscriber count confuses the living hell out of me um you know, before the two months, I had like 610 subscribers. Uh, at the end of those two months, I had 615 subscribers. I start recording, and then I have 610 subscribers. I've, I don't record, I gain subscribers. I record, I lose subscribers. I don't get it. I, I, I really don't get it. Um, and of course, it doesn't matter. I mean, however many subscribers I have, it doesn't matter one lick. Because on the last video, which is actually two vid yeah, two videos ago for you guys, uh, episode four, after it aired, uh, it, we're talking 10 hours, 10 hours, something like that, after it aired, I have eight views. Okay, so eight views. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, there is, I feel there isn't a need to celebrate subscribers who don't watch my videos. Because, you know, why are you subscribed to me if you don't watch my videos? However, there seems to be a dedicated few who actually do watch my videos, and that's why I make these videos. I don't make it for the people who think, or, you know, who subscribe but don't actually do anything. I make these videos for the people who actually watch them. So thanks to you, all of the subscribe, all of the, all of you that do watch my videos, um, yeah. <laughs> and for the record, this is how many heads I had. I actually would have had more heads, but that out of however many hours total I've been playing this game, that's how many heads I have. So yeah, the whole idea of doing the head placing ceremony would be quite difficult. So I'm not going to do that. I've decided I'm not going to do that. And this is my first cardboard box I ever made. I wanted to make cardboard boxes, but you need green slimes to do it. Now, I have an ass load of blue slime balls. Boop. These guys. Gelatinous slime. I have a ton of them. They're easy to get. I mean, I have, I have the spawner over there where I get the blue slime balls. But I couldn't find green slime balls for the life of me. And you can't make the cardboard boxes with the blue slime balls, even though the blue slime balls are supposed to work for anything that the green slime balls do. But apparently, except in the cardboard boxes case. Uh, however, I started poking around. I realized, uh, looking through uh, NEI, boop, boop, 
these congealed green slimes you can make slime balls out of. Obviously, you take four slime balls, turn them into congealed green slime, and then take congealed green gun. It's a storage thing, you know, like the the, the iron blocks and stuff like that. It's a storage thing. I'm like, okay, I can make the con- the blocks. Oh, there are congealed green slime blocks on those slime islands floating in the sky. That's what the trees are made out of. So, yeah, I got green slime balls, and I was able to make my first cardboard box ever. What I wanted to do, what I really wanted to do, uh, before I even showed off this video, was actually put a whole bunch of cardboard boxes around the house, make it look like I moved in. Um, but, well, I didn't have any cardboard boxes. Hmm. Yeah, well, anyways, today, I think I'm going to make this an easy episode, at least for me. Um, I was poking around my inventory, looking through all the stuff. Ooh, I should probably show that off. Um, no, that button, thank you. All right, so I put up all the lockers for... Uh, that spawner and the, uh, the, the the sludge boiler that we have down there and all that fun stuff. I connected them all to the lockers of infinity here. And I did not expect it to be this fast. So we have all of these lockers here. Goes around the corner here. Goes around the corner here. <laughs> I, think, I think at last count I had 32. Um, 32 lockers of infinity. And we're not done yet which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I've added all of the stuff I'm going to get from the, 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 the sludge boiler uh, the whole way to the mud balls here. This is all the stuff that comes from the uh, spawner, that big hunkin' stone right there. The whole way to the arrows here, which I got a lot of. And then feathers and chickens obviously come from that guy, and then the cobblestone from thermal expansion from the igneous extruder below this guy. Yeah, so, um, we're doing pretty good, but I wanted to take it easy a little bit on this episode, so I am going to do exactly that. And I'm going to do that with the hoe. I need the hoe. Oh, wait, no, screw that. I don't need the hoe. I need the shovel. Boop. Two, four, six. Now, I was poking around my collection, and I realized I am very low on string. I, like, don't have string. So I need a way to make string. Oops. Pop. There we go. All right. And you can do that with these cotton seeds. Um, string. Point. Plated string. It's a bow upgrade. Interesting. How do you make that? Oh, string, plated string, and then I kind of just artifice. Oh, oh, I have no idea. I don't know anything about that mod. I've got to look into that mod because I don't know what it is. Oh, here we go. Uh, cotton. The source of all string and wool. Yes, wool comes from cotton in case you didn't know that. Anyway, so you can use cotton to make string, and you can use cotton to make wool. So if I have an infinite source of cotton, well, then I have an infinite source of string and wool as well. So I've got a bunch of cotton seeds that I'm going to make plant. Plop, 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 plop. Now these work, uh, these are harvestable crops. I don't know if that's actually a term in Minecraft, but that's what I'm calling it, where basically they grow up, and then they sprout, and you can harvest them, but you don't have to replant them. You don't have to pop them. Like the, the potatoes over there, which, hang on a second. I don't know if this is a thing. Oh, I need to turn down the sound while I'm over there. Nope, okay. Uh, in in, in uh, Generic Bees series, the Agrarian Skies. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to turn down the sound for you guys while I'm over by the chickens, because that's annoying as fuck. Uh, anyways, in uh, Generic Bees Agrarian Skies, you could, like, right-click on the uh, potatoes, and it would just harvest them, and you didn't have to replant them. Apparently, that's not in Attack of the Bee Team, but that's fine. Okay, so now we have cotton, and they'll eventually grow. 
Uh, so we can harvest them easily enough with these guys, autonomous activators. Now these things might be a little bit OP because they don't require power at all. Now I don't ask that that be changed because I don't know how the guy would do this without power. Uh, plus, I'm going to add an Aqueous Accumulator. Um, I'm going to be a bat so I can fly. Though, I can jump on this dirt without a problem. Uh, yeah, we'll just put you there. Now, the Aqueous Accumulator doesn't require a puddle to sit in. Um, it will gather water very, very slowly if it's just out in the air. It'll pull it from the... in the air. Uh, then what we can do, we can put a Sprinkler from open blocks on top of it. Uh, I think I have to come at it from this side. Boop. Yes, that's perfect. All right, and then when the sprinkler gets enough water, it starts spewing out water. Now you can use the sprinkler to hydrate crops and it helps with uh, growth rates. Uh, like I could use that over there to increase the growth rate of the trees, but I mean, <laughs> This entire thing completely full. Uh, all, I have all power. Uh, the, the, the chest over here is completely full. As you can tell, it's not harvesting trees anymore. It's because it can't put anything in this chest. Uh, what it's trying to do, what it was trying to do, was put saplings in the chest, but it can't. Uh, so it stops. And it will stop until uh, the, the, the redstone furnace starts pulling things again. And, you know, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we have these autonomous activators. Um, okay, and then we just need to output them, which I think I need more pipage. I'm not 100% sure. Oop. And let's see, where is my wrench, 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 wrench? Uh, hammer, whatever. Plop, 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 plop. Do the same on the other side. And I did this in a test world and it worked. So I know this works. Get rid of that entirely. Get rid of that as well. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll just throw down a chest for right now. I'll make pipes and connect it to the system later. There is a problem with this system that I've got to figure out how to fix, and I don't know how to fix it. The problem is... Oddly enough, we're done. Anyways, the problem is uh, that if I have a chunk with the pipes in it loaded, but another chunk with the pipes also in it, like those pipes connect into that, the unloaded chunk, it breaks everything. Um, I, I, I actually had to dive down in here and, uh, literally dig out all of the pipes the whole way to the lockers and then put them all back to get it working again. That's why the poppet shelves aren't here anymore. I don't have the chunk loaders here. One, because this thing's already finished, and two, it because it breaks the pipes. And it's kind of annoying me. All right, in case you're curious, this plant right here, uh, boop, growth mature, where it has the purple on it like this, uh, that is the, from what I can tell anyways, that is the perfect time to harvest the uh, white redstone lamp. Okay, uh, anyways, yeah, apparently it's the perfect time to harvest the white redstone lamp and get more seeds out of it. If you just pop them when they're like this, you only get one seed, but you get multiple seeds if you pop them like this. I don't know why it says white redstone lamp, but whatever. Uh, you can use bone meal on these things, but uh, once they get to this point, they don't bone meal anymore. But they will grow cotton, so you just gotta be patient. Do we have anything yet? No, we don't have anything yet. Um... Ooh, it's nighttime already, and this is a very fast episode. So let's see. Let's let's give a few updates. Um, though I think I just gave the few updates that are important. Uh, Treebeard is still here. He hasn't left. He likes chasing me if I sit on the roof every now and then. 
Um, so apparently he's still hostile. Apparently he's just a straight up hostile mob. But whatever. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, we've covered pretty much everything. Yeah, and I'm just basically trying to stall right here, wait until we get some cotton. And it's just going to take a little while for these things to grow. And of course, you could expand this thing however many you want, and however many rows you want, and whatever, but uh, this will work for me. It's good enough. And I guess that makes this an easy episode. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know what, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to think for a little while and see if there's anything else I want to do with this episode. I know I wanted it to make it an easy episode, but I feel kind of like I'm cheating you guys if it's not any longer. Um, so, yeah, I will pause here, and I will come back when these are actually grown and we actually have some cotton. Uh, so I can use the cotton to connect it into the system, or... Whatever the hell I'm trying to say. Hi, zombie. You're going to get wet. So, I will see you guys in a moment. I'm back, and while I didn't think of anything else to do, I found a problem that I should probably point out and fix. Um, now, this has been running for a little while, and we have all a bunch of these mature plants. Now, I've seen these plants grow... Yeah, okay, there we go. We just saw it grow cotton, or, yeah, cotton, and go away. So, we just saw that one happen, but if we look in this chest over here, there's nothing. Um, what's happening is the cotton's getting in here, but it's not outputting anywhere, uh, which is a little silly. And it's enabled, um, in case you're curious... Uh, the redstone control, uh, when it's set to high, it requires a redstone signal to run. When it's set to low, it's the inverse of that. If it gets a redstone signal, it stops running. When it's ignored, it doesn't matter what redstone signal or not it gets. It will just keep doing its thing. So if it's set to low like this, and I don't have any red si redstone signal around it, it's not going to notice. It's not, it's not going to stop running. Um, but it's not outputting like it should, even though the back is set as its output. Which means I need... I hope I have enough of these. Pneumatic servos. Good, I have enough of them. I need 12. So I've got to make this thing do it the hard way. Oop. I hope I'm catching all of these like I'm supposed to. And I just need to enable these things. And it should be that simple. I should be getting uh, cotton. I keep mixing them up because it's uh, the cotton is... Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the cotton makes wool for some reason, so I keep saying it's wool that I'm looking for, but no, it's actually cotton I'm looking for, and it's a little confusing. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm getting cotton into the chest. All right. That's small problem, but easily fixed anyways. We can see this thing's still going. It's not giving us problems. Uh, what does kind of confuse me is we have it at zero, like, it's zero millibuckets. This thing's still going, so it's not being a problem. Oh, uh, you could put bone meal in the sprinkler and it actually makes everything grow even faster. I'm not going to bother doing that. I don't need to. But uh, eventually, this will actually fill up. So the aqueous accumulator will create more water than the sprinkler needs. Um... I just don't know how it went from four to nothing, and then it's going back up. I, I don't understand. I just know it does. It did in my test world. I don't get it. So, anyways, uh, that's our infinite cotton source. It's not terribly fast, but, I mean, we've already gotten 14. We only planted 12. So, just 
as with everything, I just gotta give it time. And then I am going to take this, uh, and for right now, I'll just disable that. Because I'm going to skip the chest and output it directly into the system. Um, no, I don't need a chest. I need a locker. This is the lockers of infinity, not the chests of infinity. Bloop, bloop. No, that way. Uh, we just need to roll on around the house, the entire way around the house. Put down the... Damn it. Get me my axe. I still need to make the tinker's tools. And I never bothered. I haven't bothered yet. Uh, eventually, I'll get around to doing it. But to be perfectly honest, since I really started getting into this, since I, since I really started doing this, I haven't actually left this area. <laughs> Outside of just... Uh... Oh, I don't have any ducts. But, uh, yeah, outside of leaving the server itself, like logging out, I haven't actually left this area since I started. Oh, I never did make any more ducks, and I need to make a bunch of them. How do I make ducks? Uh, at thermal expansion, I need item ducks, and I'm not going to worry about making them uh, clear or the impulse item ducks, though I, I want to. I want to replace the entire system with impulse item ducks because this system is slow. But then again, everything else is. So tin and lead. Um, I don't like this one. So let's see. Lead. Tin. And this will make a bunch. I like making my stuff, in, my stuff in bulk. That way I don't have to worry about it for a while. But obviously I do have to worry about it. Do I have cotton on me? Yes, I do. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to pop this. Uh, eh, whatever. Boop. Empty my hand. Put you in there and set you to whitelist and on. I don't know if this actually does anything when it's the input side, but I always set it in case, like, yeah, it wants to do it only when there's a redstone signal. It will activate the whitelist. I, I don't know how that works. So I'm just not going to worry about it. Uh, let's see. So let's go down here. Two blocks. Oh, perfect. And then all I should have to do is that and that. And that should be it. When we have cotton, it should go straight into the system. Oh, and there were two in there. Now they're gone. Same with that one. There was one in there. Though that might be left over from before. Like that one. I don't know. Yeah, I might be seeing remnants of uh, before. When I looked in them before, I'm not sure. Um, let's throw you in there. That sucks it out. And then, like I said, those ducks are really, 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 really slow. They don't work like the pneumatic tubes from Red Power or the uh, pipes from Buildcraft. They're, they're significantly slower. So we're not going to see anything pop up in here for a, a little while. And that's fine. Uh, so yeah, so there's our infinite cotton source, which will give us infinite uh, wool and string. And what I need to do, what I really need to do, is get the uh, the, the red power pipes working. Oop, nope, still nothing. How do I spell cotton? <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't spell. C-O-T-T-O-N. So it's exactly as I would have spelled it. C-O-T-T-O-N. There we go. Now we have a cotton locker that still doesn't have anything in it. Um, I'll keep my eye on it, see if it works. If not, it might be a problem with my overflow machine. Hi, zombie. Mm. Uh, which I guess I could probably show off someday 
If it wasn't for the fact that there's all these frickin' zombies around me right now. I haven't become immortal yet. I'm working on it. Um, there we go. Okay. I have to get to the point where I can kill withers and crap like that. And get, like, uh, yellow hearts and stuff like that. I think there are yellow hearts and there are, like, green hearts or something. I don't know. Uh, let's block you off real quick so I don't have to worry about you. Alright, so let's pop down here. Now, what I have is... That pipe going up leads to all of the lockers. This pipe going out leads to the source. And this pipe down leads to an overflow protector. And by overflow protector, what I mean is if one of the lockers is completely full, like for example, the feathers right now, that locker is completely full. If one of those lockers is full and we don't have some way to output the feathers that build up, the whole system will just jam up. So what I have, I have the pipe going down here, and that is set as dense. Uh, the mode is dense. We can set it to vacuum. This is nothing. This is normal. And then dense, which is... How, how do I describe it? Basically, it makes it a lower priority in the system. You remember how I was saying how it, the ducks will go through the f to the first available source and once that's full it will go to the next available source well the dense pretty much always makes it the next avail uh, the, the the last available source and then down here in a very very dark room i have this setup the setup that we use for the chickens where i just have a dropper and a pulser which as long as there are things in the dropper it will pulse it and then just spit them out and then they'll just despawn. Now, I could put lava down here so that when it spits out, it just destroys the entity automatically. But I wanted to leave it like this because if I accidentally throw something in the system and I need to go get it, at least I can. Um, like... A beetle? Ugh. Hi. I had a funny feeling you would be there. Boop. Anyway, so I opened up the spawner there and I started killing things. Whoop. For those red hearts. Because the red hearts are used with Tinker's Construct. They're used for uh, this right here. This top one here. And I have every intention of using all of them. Oh, you don't even recognize it as a door. I was wondering about that. I was wondering if they'd try to bust down carpenter doors, but they don't even try. The only thing that, the, the thing that really pisses me off about the carpenter's doors is this. It's really hard to open those doors with something in your hand. And if your bar is full and you're running from mobs, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Look, I have a gun. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the witch's trophy that I got here that makes you blind. Uh... I got that from the spawner, and it fell into the system, and I had to go digging for it. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I'm going to call the episode here. Oop, I think I rambled on long enough. Not my best episode, I'll, I'll admit, but it's not bad. I mean, we got stuff done, we talked, we had some fun making fun of Nintendo, and we have... Uh, yeah, uh, we have uh, me basically, I don't know, professing my love for the people that actually watch my videos instead of the people that just subscribe to me and then don't do anything. Uh, so yes, again, thank you guys for actually watching the video. Uh, you know, if you, if, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. That's very encouraging to me. I don't think YouTube uses the thumbs up anymore. I think they actually use comment system. Like the more comments, that the higher the you know, ratings on YouTube. Uh, I don't think they use the thumb up anymore. Though the thumb up's helpful for me. Uh, it shows me that you guys like it. But that's why I'm always begging for comments. Well, for two reasons. Uh, one, because Google uses the comments instead of the thumbs up, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, but primarily... 
It's because I want your feedback. I want to hear from you guys. This is why that's why I'm always begging you for comments. Is because I want to hear from you guys. I want your comments. I like I like reading your comments. I like responding to your comments and all that fun stuff. And they give me ideas for videos and stuff. Um so yeah, screw YouTube. I want your comments for my own personal benefit. Well, I guess technically both of those would whatever. Um uh, yeah, anyways, uh, so, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next episode, and I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun. Now I'm going to sleep. Good night. Oh, damn it.